My name is Kengo Nakajima, University of Tokyo. Title of the presentation is, Wisteria B Deck 01, an H3 Open B Deck, Innovative Scientific Computing in the Exascale Era. First, I will make a overview the Wisteria B Deck 01 system with A64FX, which is starting the operation on May 14, 2021, at the Information Technology Center, the University of Tokyo. Then I will talk about H3 Open B Deck, which is an innovative software platform for scientific computing in the exascale era. This slide overviews the three systems. We have more than 2600 users, and more than 55% of them are from outside of the University of Tokyo. The oldest one is Reed Bush by HP, which consists of Intel Xeon Broadwell and Nvidia Tesla P100, Pascal GPU. This is our first GPU cluster. Oak Forest PAX by Fujitsu is our flagship system with 8208 Intel Xeon Phi many core CPUs. This is operated by JCAHPC, which is a joint work by University of Tsukuba and University of Tokyo. Total peak performance is 25 petaflops and it is 22nd in the top 500 list, November 2020. The newest system is Oak Bridge CX by Fujitsu. It has 1,368 nodes of Intel Xeon Cascade Lake. Total peak performance is 6.61 petaflops, and it is ranked 69th in the world. Two pie charts show research areas of Reed Bush based on CPU hours. Left chart shows usage of Reed Bush U, subsystem equipped with only CPUs. Computational science, such as simulations in engineering, earth, and space science, and material science are the typical areas of usage of our supercomputer systems in recent 55 years. On the contrast, workloads on GPU cluster are very different. Large portions are occupied by information science related to artificial intelligence, and bioinformatics, such as genome analysis and medical image recognition by machine learning. Next page shows research area of Oak Forest PAX, and Oak Bridge CX. These are mainly used for computational science, but there are certain amount of usage in bioinformatics. Our systems are used in projects for fighting against COVID-19 supported by Japanese government. In 2020, 14 projects were conducted, and 6 of them used our systems. These simulations for splash diffusion are done by my colleague Professor Tsubokura from Kobe University in Riken. Although his results on Fukuoka supercomputer are widely known, he is also using our supercomputer, Oakridge CX. Our systems are used for global atmosphere ocean coupled simulations on climate and weather. Solid Earth and Earthquake Simulations Simulation of Geologic CO2 Storage This slide overviews the real-time prediction of severe rainstorm. This was originally planned for 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games in Tokyo. Large-scale simulations, observation by satellite and phased array radar were combined with data assimilation for real-time forecast of severe thunderstorm. In this study, we propose an innovative method of computational science towards the exascale era and society 5.0 by integration of simulation plus data plus learning, S plus D plus L where ideas of data science and machine learning are introduced to computational science. Society 5.0 is proposed by Japanese government, aiming super smart and human-centered society by digital innovation, such as IoT, big data, AI etc., and integration of cyberspace and physical space. It follows hunting, agriculture, industry, and information from Society 1.0 to 4.0. Supercomputing is changing now. As I mentioned in the previous slide, we have new types of workloads related to big data analytics, AI, and machine learning, in addition to CSE for simulations. Integration and convergence of S plus D plus L is important towards Society 5.0. Our approach is based on AI for HPC or sophisticated simulations. We are now introducing two platforms for integration of S plus D plus L which starts operations in spring 2021. 
One is BDEC focusing on simulations. Another is Data Platform MDX, which is a cloud-like system mainly for data analytics and learning. We are operating three supercomputer systems, and now introducing the BDEC system, Big Data and Extreme Computing, as the platform for integration of S plus D plus L. Name of the system is Wisteria BDEC 01, with 33.1, petaflops peak performance. This slide show the schedule for procurement of supercomputer systems in the University of Tokyo. We are now in the beginning of fiscal year of 2021. The MDX started in March, and Wisteria is starting this month. Wisteria BDEX01, is the first BDEX system, Big Data and Extreme Computing, which is the platform for S plus D plus L. Peak performance is 33.1, petaflops, and aggregated memory bandwidth is 8.38 petabytes per second. The system is constructed by Fujitsu. Operation starts on May 14, 2021, this Friday, and it is hierarchical hybrid and heterogeneous system. Simulation nodes for HPC, Odyssey, with more than 25 petaflops is based on Fujitsu's Prime HPC FX1000 with A64FX with high bandwidth memory. This part has the same architecture as that of the Fugaku supercomputer. Data and learning nodes, Aquarius, are GPU cluster consisting Intel Ice Lake and NVIDIA A100 Tensor Core, with 7.2 petaflops for data analytics, AI, and machine learning workloads. Some of data and learning nodes are connected to external resources directly. Wisteria is named after the legend of Princess Wisteria at Lake Tiganuma in Kashiwa where the building for the system locates. Each of Odyssey and Aquarius is corresponding to the call sign of the command module and that of Luna module of the Apollo 13. We hope that Wisteria B-01 saves the Earth, as Odyssey and Aquarius supported crew of the Apollo 13 to come back to the Earth safely. This is how we utilize the Wisteria B-01 system for integration of simulation, data, and learning. Models and parameters for simulations are optimized by data analytics and machine learning. H3 OpenB Deck is the innovative software platform for integration of S plus D plus L on the B Deck system. It is a five year project supported by Japanese government since 2019. PI is Kengo Nakajima and total budget is 1.41 million US dollars for five years. Collaborators are specialists of computer science, high-performance computing, HPC, computational science, numerical algorithms, data science, and machine learning. H3 OpenB Deck is the innovative software platform for integration of S plus D plus L on B Deck system. We have two significant innovations in H3 OpenB Deck. One is innovative method for numerical analysis with high performance, high reliability, and power saving based on the new principle of computing by adaptive precision, accuracy verification, and automatic tuning. Mostly, scientific computing has been conducted using FP64, double precision. Sometimes, problems can be solved by FP32 or lower precision. Computing with lower precision generally saves computation time, energy, and memory. Approximate computing is originally the idea for image recognition etc., where accuracy is not necessarily required. It is also applied to numerical computations. Computations by lower precision and by mixed precision from half to quad precision are widely used in various types of scientific applications. But, such computations may provide results with less accuracy. P3D is the target application in the present work, which solves steady-state heat conduction problems by finite volume method, FVM, based on operations of seven-point stencil. Distribution of thermal conductivity, lambda, is heterogeneous. One layer with different material property, lambda 2, is inserted. Ratio of lambda 1 over lambda 2 is proportional to the condition number of the derived coefficient matrix. The derived coefficient matrix is sparse and symmetric positive definite, SPD. 
linear equations are solved by ICCG, conjugate gradient iterative solver with incomplete Koleski preconditioning. The code is written in Fortran 90 and OpenMP, and CMRCM reordering is applied for thread parallelization. P3D supports FP64, double precision, FP32, single precision, and FP16, half precision, while FP16 can be only applied to preconditioning. Moreover, it supports various types of matrix storage format such as CRS, ELL, Cell C Sigma etc., while CRS, ELL, and optimized ELL are applied in the present work. Performance was evaluated on a single node of OFP with Intel Xeon Phi, OBCX with Intel Xeon Cascada Lake, and OL7, FX700 with Fujitsu A64FX. Next slide shows performance of ICCG solver for three types of matrix storage, CRS, ELL, and optimized ELL for both of medium and large sized problems. FX700, green bar, is rather slower than others with CRS, but much faster with optimized ELL, especially for larger problems. This slide shows that we need certain optimizations for extracting performance of A64FX. Another important feature is that we can easily implement FP16, half-precision operations, on A64FX using Fujitsu's compiler. Here, we evaluated the robustness of the ICCG solver of using mixed-precision computing including FP16. In double-half, DH, and single-half, SH, preconditioning part is implemented using FP16. Next slide shows implementations of forward substitution procedure in ICCG. Difference between double single and double half is difference of precision of coefficient matrix, FP32 or FP16. Next slide shows relative error compared to double double implementation at the bottom point of the target geometry. Error increases, as lambda 1 lambda 2 ratio increases for single single and single half cases. On the contrast, Error stays zero for double single and double half, while they do not converge, if lambda 1 lambda 2 ratio is equal to 1 million. Next slide shows number of iterations normalized by iterations for double double cases. Iterations for double single and double half are equal to those of double double if lambda 1 lambda 2 ratio is smaller than 100,000. Another innovation is hierarchical data driven approach. HDDA, based on machine learning for integration of S plus D plus L, AI for HPC. Because real-world scientific simulations are generally nonlinear, we need to do a huge number of parameter studies. Therefore, reduction of cases is very critical. For example, mid-range weather prediction is done by 50 to 100 ensemble cases. It is known that we need 1000 cases for accurate solution. If the optimum parameters can be selected by machine learning, 50 to 100, or fewer cases may be enough for accurate solution. Data-driven approach, DDA is a widely known method. Technique of AI and machine learning is introduced for predicting the results of simulations with different parameters. DDA generally requires order of 1000 to 10,000 runs for generation of training data. We are proposing HDDA. Hierarchical DDA in this project. Simplified models with coarser meshes, but preserving original features of physics, for efficient training are constructed automatically by machine learning using various types of methods, such as feature detection, adaptive mesh refinement, model order reduction, uncertainty quantification, and sparse modeling. This slide shows the results of preliminary works by my colleague Professor Shimoka Webi. This is for prediction of transient CFD simulations by machine learning and convolutional neural network. The current result shows good agreement between 2D lattice Boltzmann simulations and CNN predictions. One of possible applications for integration of S plus D plus L using H3 OpenB DEC is simulation with data assimilation. We are working together with AORI. University of Tokyo, Riken RCCS, and National Institute for Environmental Studies, in atmosphere-ocean coupling for weather and climate simulations. 
Moreover, we also started collaboration with Earthquake Research Institute, University of Tokyo, for earthquake simulations with real-time data assimilation. We can extend this idea to real-time disaster simulations, such as flood and tsunami. Furthermore, we can apply integration of S plus D plus L to existing simulation codes, such as open foam. JDXNet is the seismic observation data exchange and distribution network in Japan, and it distributes the seismic observation data of the nine national universities, JMA, NEED, JAMSTEC, AIST etc. This slide overviews 3D earthquake simulation with real-time data observation and assimilation. We utilize real-time observation data including satellite data of JDXNet through SciNet. Example of 3D earthquake simulation with real-time data observation and assimilation. It starts from combined simulation with real-time data assimilation, and switch to pure simulations. This application is for safer evacuation in cases of emergency. Improvement of underground model by machine learning will be done under normal operations. We are now doing preliminary studies using our Oakbridge CX, OBCX, system. OBCX has 1,368 nodes of Intel Cascade Lake scalable processors. 128 of these nodes are equipped with fast SSDs. Furthermore, 16 of these 128 nodes are directly connected to external resources through SciNet. We are now using one of these nodes for getting real-time observation data from JDXNet. We are going to install the application to Wisteria BDEC01 after May 2021. On the Wisteria BDEC01, Aquarius is doing filtering, machine learning, and visualization, while Odyssey works for data assimilation and simulations. Because the Wisteria BDEC01 is heterogeneous, a single MPI job over Odyssey Aquarius is impossible. Actually, they are connected through InfiniBand EDR with 2 terabytes per second. We are developing a communication procedure with H3 OpenSysWait IO, library for inter-process communication via files with MPI-like interface, and H3 OpenUtil MP, multi-physics coupler. Generally, Multi-physics coupler, such as PPOpenMathMP, is doing weak coupling of multiple applications. But our new coupler H3OpenUtilMP has more sophisticated capabilities. One innovative idea is to couple computational science simulations in Fortran, an AI workload written in Python, using Fortran Python adapter. We are developing a new coupler which combines Odyssey for simulations, and Aquarius for AI machine learning through InfiniBand EDR. Current version is based on a single MPI job environment. Direct communication is conducted between Odyssey Aquarius through InfiniBand EDR by H3 OpenSysWait IO, which provides MPI-like interface. This slide provides the schedule for public use of these libraries. Simulation AI Coupler is available this October for pure MPI version. InfiniBand version for heterogeneous environments is open for public between January and April next year. This is the summary. By integration of S plus D plus L using H3 Open B deck, total energy consumption, total computation time, for simulations will be 10% of that by the conventional methods for simulations with parameter studies. H3 OpenB Deck is the first innovative software platform for integration of S plus D plus L on exascale systems, where computational scientists can achieve such integration without supports by other experts in data analytics and AI machine learning. Source codes and documents in English are open to public for various kinds of computational environments. Thank you very much for your attention.